Hi, I want to give you some very important logistical ways to use your energizers, your Hartford energizers, now that they are arriving where you are. Um, there's a, a man on, on YouTube, his name, it goes by Weatherman Plus, who's very, very accurate in predicting hurricanes, particularly uh, off in the distant future. And he says that we are bound to get hit by one by the 15th, and that's we still have the warm water. And it says it's going to come come up into the into the Gulf, and uh, also the uh, this, that's the time of year when they in October, I believe, when they start hitting on the Atlantic side. So, uh, but this what I would do is point my energizers towards the Gulf because I believe you can start doing that now because we want to cool that water off. And I think this will help by changing the fractals uh, frequencies. It will change the temperatures of the water, and uh, that because God intended the water to be normalized, He didn't expect us to be constantly dealing with uh, you know, hurricanes. And so, um, you go ahead and do that. Oh, also the the uh, contractor came today. And the work on my ceiling, he said it could be at least two weeks. So we're talking the middle of September, uh, possibly when he will be here. And when he does come, I have to turn my energizers off. There's at least 10 or 12 that I'll be turning off. And that's when the hurricane is coming, according to Weatherman Plus. So we uh, really do want you to get these things going and, and let's mitigate it before they get here. You know, it was uh, Michael that came from the toe of, of, of uh, Mexico, and Dahlia came from just about the same place. So we could have hurricanes with this really warm water promoting promoting hurricanes. So whether we can cool the water off or change, change the uh, ion sandwiches, either way, we want to do that because, because we want to let what we call Mother Nature to handle that when I say Mother Nature, I, I mean God. I, I don't subscribe to the, uh, you know, whatever that other thing might lead to. Uh, you know, that's my term that I'm using for it. And so please don't ascribe to me any other definition of, of it. Uh, and uh, it's just easier to talk that way because we want to assist uh, what's natural. And God gives everything that's natural. And so that's what we're about. And so, uh, also want to give you an update real quick on the uh, tornadoes and the, and the deaths so far. Uh, it looks like there's only been three deaths directly attributed to uh, the to the tornado to the hurricane. And I would attribute that. You know, there was one that was sort of borderline. I would actually add that to four. Uh, but. Um, the, uh, so that's really, really good. This is I'm talking about three states. I, I looked and looked and looked and couldn't find any more updates on tornadoes in the three states. There were probably some, some so small you couldn't see them, but you know the ones that are seen were very, very few. Um, and so as a result, there's only been th like three or four deaths in Florida. There was one in one in uh, Georgia. Um, yeah, in fact, yeah. In fact, there were two, two or three deaths in, in, in Florida so far, and in Georgia one so far. And I, I don't know about South Carolina. I haven't heard anything. And there's no reporting on the tornadoes because there's so few. And you know, the the way it works is, the news is, what's terrible. You know, what's newsworthy it becomes newsworthy. If there are no tornadoes, they don't report on it. But you should can, look at the pictures that you'll see. I saw one today that had a canopy of oak trees going down the street, and not a single one, even though it's flooded there, not a single one of the of the oak trees was uprooted. Uh, that's pretty wild. Uh, they get uprooted regularly. They did. They certainly did with in Panama City, with uh, a, a Category Five. This was a three. Still should have been some uprooted. And no trees snap that I've seen so far. I've seen trees that you know, like deciduous trees and bushes. That means they grow new leaves each each uh, spring. Not, 
in a lot of places, the, the leaves are still on the trees perfectly, perfectly. So uh, as you look at the pictures, notice those things. Notice that the, the telephone poles, are they broken? And I saw one picture, it, was, it took me a while looking at it, but I could see that the, the telephone line's going across, no problem. And there, you know, there are trees standing up straight, telephone poles, lighting poles. Another one had all the lights on. This was yesterday. Yesterday, uh, the lights were on. You know, this, so it's pretty amazing. I can tell you, it wasn't like that in Panama City. <laughs> so anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, you take care and God bless.